All right, so first of all, check out this awesome hoodie you can get at rycast.com. Okay, so today's workout is a tricep circuit. Um, we're doing five sets of max close grip bench press, which is not part of the circuit. Then you do four exercises in the circuit, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, with a 90 second rest after each uh, time through the circuit. And the circuit, you do it six times, there's four exercises. The exercises are triceps press down, triceps dips, triceps kickbacks which, with a dumbbell, and triceps overhead dumbbell extension. Okay, so um, tomorrow I'm doing a high intensity interval training session. And that will finish up week 11 of this program. Then we're on to week 12 and week 13 and I'll be done. Now I will say on day 5 of week 11 I was supposed to do a 2 mile swim in the morning followed by a PM 3 mile run. I wasn't able to do them both in the same day. I ended up doing them both separate days and on the two mile swim unfortunately due to my sinus congestion uh, I just freaking couldn't breathe in the pool right now I'm taking Claritin D which um, screws up my uh, I, it helps me sw sleep kind of in that I can breathe when I sleep but it wakes me up a lot it kind of gives me insomnia the chest pain is gone. The chest pain is due to, I think, like phlegm in my lungs or something. Um, but that makes me feel tired all the time. And it really sucks because it's screwed. Like when I'm swimming, I'm turning my head to breathe and I'm breathing out in my nose and uh, I can't get in the air. It's like, you know, the feeling when you're uh super sick and you can barely breathe out of your nose well, that's how i feel as soon as i get in the pool especially as soon as i hit that chlorine i don't know why but instantly my sinuses are completely fucked so if you know how to fix that if you you anyone else has run into this problem uh leave me a comment below and i really appreciate it i don't know if this is related to um bronchioconstriction exercise induced bronchioconstriction or I don't know I don't know I um I've had sinus problems most of my life but I think they've gotten worse in the past few years and um I had a t CT scan done and they said well you need surgery you need a fist and you need endoscopic like they need to do a turbinate reduction and a um where they fix the, uh, whatever this is called, you know, the alignment of it. Um, then I got a second opinion by an actual doctor, which the first opinion was not by a doctor. And the doctor dude said, well, you don't need surgery, you just need something with your allergies. And uh, I had an allergy test done, and they said I have shit tons of allergies, mostly grass and, like, class five or three or like the worst you can possibly have for two like a whole bunch of different things and uh grasses and mold and especially molds and pollen and you name it um but you know after doing research i found out the um Shots take a long time to do anything, and for a lot of people, they don't do shit, so I'm not going to pay for that and wait that long. Uh, and I don't want empty nose syndrome from screwing up my turbinates, so there's a thing called balloon sinoplasty I'm thinking about doing, but I'm not sure if anyone has experience with that. Leave me a comment. I really do want to get something done, because the congestion leaves me feeling so tired in my workouts that I feel like I can barely recover between sets. Um, I get like shortness of breath, and breath. I think it's just from poor quality sleep, honestly. You know, it's just from fatigue. 
and yet like this whole 13 week program I pulled myself through it somehow but I think I would have gained a lot more from it if I had been uh, sleeping well and breathing correctly. In any case, that's the deal. 29 years old, um, trying for a SEAL contract. I haven't done a PFT, PST yet because I don't want to go there and fuck it up because I've done a mock PST and my scores just were not there. I'm going to do one more mock PST at the end of this program, see where I'm at, and then probably do uh, Stu Smith's 12 Weeks to Buds. Um, see how that goes. I might even go down to Maryland and swim with him. The Combat Swimmer side stroke. Where was I going with all this? So on day five, I did not complete the two mile swim nonstop. I did complete the three mile run nonstop, but I had to do it on the second day. I swam about, so it's on a, in a YMCA pool that's 25 yards, and the goal is two miles, which is 3,520 meters or yards. I did 44 laps almost nonstop. I had to pause a couple times. Um, and then I did another 20, 12, no. Shit, I don't know. Another 10 laps or so. Anyway, I didn't get to the 70 laps that would have made it 2 miles. I did, in total, about 1.3 miles. Uh, I, it said in the workout, um, this is Jeff Nichols, use any stroke or combina combination of strokes, only goal is no stopping. I think I'm going to try it again soon, the 2 miler with fins, and I think I'll be able to complete it. Uh, in any case, next week I am doing another three mile run. This program is finally ramping up to some volume in the cardio, cardio training. And I'm having difficulty with it. That's my main, like, uh, the main thing I have trouble with is cardio. I can do push ups, sit ups, pull ups pretty well. I can get over 20 pull-ups now. This program is very good for improving pull-ups. So that's the deal. Uh, check out RyeCast.com for the new shirts and shit. Have a great day.